Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the EC-135 Collective Shaft Inspection. It's a seven-year inspection, then it switches to three years. We're just going to go over that real quick, show you where it's at, why we're doing it, and how to do it. The collective shaft is located right behind the pilot seat underneath the floor. And it's underneath, if you, if you open up the panel that is right behind the front cross tube, right there, drop that panel. And if you look inside, this is looking inside that panel to the left and slightly forward. And that's the shaft right there. And it extends the whole width of that whole um, area. Uh, here's another look, looking up and to the right. And that's the shaft behind all that stuff. So that's the AHARS number one right there. And this is the AHARS plate. Here's a view. Well, let's take this AHARS and AHARS plate off this plate right here and see what it looks like. So with the plate and the AHARS removed, what you see is uh, if you look straight up into that panel, that's what you see. That's the collective shaft. Right there on the right, there's that hole that they want you to look inside and look for corrosion. And while you're in here, go ahead and clean up a little bit of that dust and that dust and whatever that is right there. It's either blood or coffee from a pilot. Who knows? Here's another view with the AHARS mounting plate still installed. You can, you can go in there and take a look. It's not easy, but you can do it. Here's me sticking my camera up there with a video showing you how to see it. But you can't even stick your head up there because that tube's there. Anyway, why are we doing this and how do we do this? Let's go to the Airbus EC-135 maintenance manual. We're going to look in the MSM, which is the Master Service Manual. Okay, Master Servicing Manual, which is Supplementary Inspections, 052500. If we scroll way down, all the way to the Collective Control section, 67-12, it shows us right here, Detailed Inspection of the Collective Shaft, and they said it's seven years. Well, then there's another inspection, same inspection, but it's three years. And it says after the first part is done, if there's no corrosion. And then there's another inspection, same inspection, but it's on a 12 month time interval. If you completed the previous inspection, but you did find corrosion and all these inspections are all the same. So click on the blue hyperlink, go to the inspection, which is AMM aircraft maintenance manual, 67-12-006-6 detailed inspection of the collective shaft of the collective controls. Anyway, we're going to scroll down and open up figure one and it shows the collective shaft and it shows where it is. So we go to figure two. So the procedures of this inspection examine the inner surface of the collective shaft with a boroscope through the hole. Okay. There's the hole. They show the hole at the top or the top, you know, backside, but it's actually like at the bottom backside. Anyway, back to the maintenance manual, examine inside with a boroscope and look for mechanical damage, corrosion, and contamination. Uh, if the collective shaft is mechanically damaged, contact your Airbus representative. Okay, so now we're on figure three. It says, uh, but the next step, if the collective shaft has corrosion area, has a corrosion area less than 10 square centimeters, uh, see figure two and three. We're on figure three now. So what do we do? Photograph the corrosion area. Archive the photographs with the maintenance documents. Apply anti-corrosion agent CM-526 on the inner surface of the collective shaft. Okay, what's CM-526? It's anti-corrosion agent, and it is Ardrox AV-30. All right, so get yourself some of that. Now back to the maze manual. What do we do after putting the Ardrox in there? Uh, do an inspection of the collective shaft in accordance with AMM 5520611. So we're going to go there, and this is special measures... After inspection of the collective shaft, pretty much what it's telling you is to look at the chart and do what it says, okay? It's super simple. It just tells you your limits, okay? If there's no corrosion, then do this inspection again in 36 months. But if there is corrosion, do it in 12 months. And it's the same inspection. It references the same chapter that we just were looking at. Compare the corrosion area with the photographs and the maintenance documents from the past. That's all under the part that says if you have less than 10 square centimeters of corrosion. Well, if you go to the next step, it says if the collective shaft has corrosion area greater than 10 centimeters, the C figure three and four and contact Airbus representative. Okay, so you're probably hosed. So look at figure four, which is greater than 10 square centimeters. And then if you look at figure two, which anyway, back and forth, just that's just the only reference you have to figure out how much area they're talking about. So if you find contamination in the collective shaft, clean the collective shaft. 
according to this maintenance task card. Okay, let's go to the maintenance task card. Well, it says refer to a different work card, MTC whatever. That one is general uh, use of cleaning products on individual parts on the aircraft. TLDR on that is it just tells you what cleaning products you're supposed to use on different materials. All right, it doesn't give you an in depth on how to clean the inside of that collective shaft. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Anyway, so how do you do this job? So that's the maintenance manual reference, but how do you do the job? Well, you get a nice boroscope. One I got a hold of was this one right here called ViewTech VJ-4, VJ-4. Pretty decent boroscope. And look, I'm not a professional boroscope user, right? I mean, I use it when I need to. I use one when I need to, but I'm ones I've used in the past are pretty old and not really that good. So anyway, make a long story short, we got a hold of one of these and it's uh, 2.8 millimeters in diameter, which is perfect. I think that hole might be three millimeters or it might be five. I'm not sure, but it's tiny, super tiny hole. All right. But this borescope pretty squared away. I didn't get a chance to use all the features and check it out, but worked really good. The website is viewtech.com. Anyway, it shows you everything they got. I wasn't really looking for prices, but I'd imagine it's in the thousands of dollars, not tens of thousands of dollars. So maybe it's like five grand. I don't know though. Anyway, the point is the tip articulates 365 degrees. Super sweet. Uh, looks like the size underneath that 2.2 millimeters only goes uh, back and forth one way or the other. Either way, get a boroscope that works and make sure you go in that hole and you can look around in there. So let's do that. Go ahead and grab your boroscope, stick it in that hole right there and look around. And here's the video I shot, part of the video I shot while looking around in this one. And this one doesn't have corrosion. It's got some dust in there. And I'll show you where the dust is here in a little bit. I think it's... Anyway, looking around, there's no corrosion. And there's a part of this video right there where the tip of this boroscope is articulated looking back on itself. So that's the hole that the boroscope cable or, or tube or whatever is going through the hole. And so you could look back on there be cool because that's the bottom and i would imagine there'd be corrosion on the bottom but no corrosion on this one so that's super positive just looking around okay so there's the dust and there's where i'm not exactly sure i think that might be um the lvdt shaft or something i'm not sure what goes through there but this looking on the inside but it looks like that's possibly maybe when they um, put that through it or that pin that roll pin that that's holding it on or whatever might have just scraped off some of that primer I think that's what all that dust is because if you look at it it just goes it's all only on one side like the bottom side anyway i'm rambling point is get a boroscope so you can look around inside of the thing this one worked out really good and again i'm just making a video just to uh i know that this doesn't come up often airbus must have changed the manual along the way maybe they found some corroded and they put the inspection in their manual that being said a lot of these are coming due i think a couple guys found corrosion in there but they thought it was corrosion, um, but talking to the tech rep, one of the guys sent some pictures to the tech rep and he sent an email back saying, this is not corrosion, this is galvanization. When they galvanized these tubes, the container or whatever apparently wasn't long enough for this whole shaft, so they had to do one part at a time. So there's like an overlap or something like that, excessive galvanization inside of it. And I'll put some pictures in. Okay, this is the pictures I got from the other guy. Uh, I think he was using a different boroscope. I'm not sure, but these pictures right here show, according to the tech rep, this is excessive galvanization. It's not corrosion. Don't worry about it. So that's just a heads up for you. So if you find something in there, reach out to your tech rep. You know, you're doing the job. You're not using this video as a reference or anything like that. It's just a guide to help you understand what you're doing. Read the maintenance manual figure out what you gotta do, and if you run into any problems, talk to your tech rep or make some phone calls, okay? So I hope you guys found some value in the video. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Thanks.